Hi, this is Blake from NetworkingExamAcademy.com and I'm going to show you how to set up a two area OSPF network just like this one using three routers and so you see area 0 is on the left and area 1 is on the right and the router A in the middle has two interfaces and router B and C each have one interface so I'm going to start with router A configure those two interfaces in OSPF and then configure B and then configure C. So let's begin with router A. So enable the password. Now let's configure the first interface. Interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. The IP address of 192.168.1.1 and the subnet mask. And let's Enable it. Should come up. Now let's configure an IP address for the other interface. So 192.168.1.2 subnet mask. Oops. This one is 2.1, excuse me. Let's also turn it on. Let's see it come up here. Okay, now let's configure OSPF. So the command to do that is router OSPF, and then we need to assign a number. Let's use 100. Now we need to put those two networks, interfaces in a network. So we use network. 192.168.1.0 that'll give us the network with the first interface in it and OSPF uses wildcard masks and let's put it in area 0 now let's do the other network 192.168.2.0 wildcard wild mask and then area 1 We're in router B now. Now let's go to interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. IP address of 192.168.1.2. Subnet mask. And a no shutdown. So now let's configure OSPF on router B. So router OSPF 100 network 192.168.1.0 with the wildcard mask and area 0. Okay. Now on router C, let's enable it. Now let's configure the interface Ethernet 00. zero. I think this was fast Ethernet. There we go. IP address of 192.168.2.2. Subnet mask. And no shutdown. Okay, I think it was already up before. So now let's configure OSPF, router OSPF 100. So this one is in area 1. So network 192.168.2.0, wildcard mask. And this is in area 1. Okay. What's up? Now let's see. Let's ping. Router A. Dot two dot one. Ooh, there it goes. Okay, now let's ping the other side of router A. That'd be one dot one.
Hmm, not working. Router A. One dot one. Okay, another interface is a rack if we can ping. There we go. See the problem? Did I not configure those earlier? <laughs> All right, let's fix the areas. Look, we got this is in this is, should be in area zero, and the other one one six dot two dot zero should be in area one. So let's fix those right now. See, that's what happens in real life. Config T. Okay, router OSPF 100. And just to be sure, I'm going to get rid of this completely. So no network 192.168.1.0. So that one should be gone now. Now we can put it back in correctly. Area zero, right? Now let's do the other one. Two dot zero. And this one is an area one. So now it should be working. So let's log out of router A. Now we're back in router C. And let's do a show IP route and look at this routing table. Look at that. It now has the OSPF entry. But because we have two different areas, we have area 0 and area 1, this has the O and then 1A or IA. This means it's in, you can look up here. So O is normal OSPF. If we just had a single area OSPF implementation, it would only have an O here in the routing table. But we have IA, which stands for OSPF inter area. So this means that this route crosses a different area. So now we should be able to ping router B, 192.168.2.1. Excuse me, 1.2. It is this one right here, 1.2. And we're right here in router C. So it should work. And it does. So let's tell that there. And look at its routing table, just to double check. Show IP route. And you can see it has the route to router C, and it also is inter area because it crosses from area 0 to area 1. You can also do show IP OSPF to get some more details. You can see OSPF 100 up here. And you can see it's part of the backbone because it's in area 0. And you can also see the SPF algorithm has been ex executed two times. So, if you this is good. If you have tons of SPF algorithm calculations, that means you know something's wrong and interface is going up and down because OSPF has to calculate the shortest path many times. And so well, that's pretty much it. That's how you set up a two area. OSPF router implementation and for more information please go to my website at www.networkingexamacademy.com and thank you for watching this video